बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम वेलकम अगेन गैस वेलकम टू नदर वीडियो लेक्चर बाई कामी बायोलॉजी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए वेरी एंड हिज को वर्कर एक्सपेरिमेंट दे कैन ऑल्सो प्रूव दैट डी एन एज ऑल्सो जेनेटिक मटेरियल ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर इफ यू गैज रिमेंबर वी टॉक्ट अबाउट द ग्रिफ्थ एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट यू नो ही टॉक्ट दैट डी एन एज अ जेनेटिक मटेरियल he how he uh, proved that dna is a genetic material he take uh, two strain of the bacterial culture uh, means uh, streptococcus s type streptococcus pneumonia and r type streptococcus pneumonia okay and then he put the s type streptococcus pneumonia in which the mouse die then he injected r type streptococcus pneumonia the mouse lived and similarly he then uh, heat uh, the Uh, s type uh, bacteria and then injected this heat killed s type bacteria to the mouse the mouse was lived and after some time at the last step he you know mixed this heat killed s type and r type uh, streptococcus pneumonia and injected it into the mouse then the mouse was died okay and finally he concluded that the mouse was died because uh, this uh, you know uh, s type uh, bacteria transferred the genetic material to the R type and this R type is just like the S type. That's why they can cause the death of the mouse. Okay, but uh, after some times uh, in nineteen forty four, nineteen forty four, this experiment, uh, uh, you know, uh, a very and his co-workers perform another experiment and they can, you know, uh, rejected and they put a question mark. You know, they put a question mark. to grift experiment that it is not only possible inside the mixture means inside that mixture there is not only the dna is present there is rna is also present the protein is also present maybe there is a chances the pro protein is also transfer and you know rna is also transfer okay protein and rna is also transfer maybe there is a chance that protein can protect the bacterial cell due to which the mouse die or rna can protect the bacterial cell due to which the mouse die not only the dna have the ability okay so for that purpose he also perform the experiment and he you know uh, proceed the grift experiment uh, further more okay in this video today in this video lecture we are going to talk about a very and his coworker experiment so let's start Okay, so Avery and his co-worker. Let me write Oswald Oswald Avery McLeod and McLean McCarthy. So Avery and his co-worker they perform the experiment in nineteen. Forty-four, and they also prove that uh, DNA is uh, actually a uh, DNA is a genetic material. Now, <coughs> what actually they perform? In the previous video lecture, we talked that uh, uh, transformation phenomena. So in this case, we also are going to talk about the transformation phenomena as well. So this is also transformation principle. Okay. Now, uh, what actually happen? they take the heat killed s type bacteria so the solution they take that solution which contain the heat killed s type bacteria or the heat killed smooth type streptococcus pneumonia okay and what actually he do and he separate from this solution he separate three main component and these three main component was the dna rna as well as protein so these three materials they can purify and isolate but on that time in 1944 on that time the purification and the isolation technique was was not you know too much clear and too much uh, uh, understandable or we can say the purification and the isolation technique was not too much uh, fine or well 
we can say like that so they purified this bacteria they can purify this component purify once they isolate these three main components then what actually uh, these uh, scientists do these scientists or uh, Avery and his co-worker you know first in the first step they take the DNA plus they take the rough type uh, rough type streptococcus pneumonia okay the mixture of DNA and the mixture of uh, rough type uh, uh, you know uh, streptococcus pneumonia pneumonia and then they transfer this uh, or they inject this mixture to the mouse then what was the result the mouse was die okay this was the first step in the second step they take RNA which was purified and isolate and they also take the same uh, you know strain and when they injected this uh, mixture to the mouse then the mouse was uh, survive survive okay before going to explain the experiment you need to understand about the Griffith experiment okay I already explained the Griffith experiment that's why here I'm not explaining the same uh, things again and again because these all uh, steps I explain in the Griffith experiment now so you guys need to understand the Griffith experiment it's present into my channel you can watch it now after that they you know uh, take the protein sample and mix it with the same strain means rough type streptococcus pneumonia and then they inject it to the mouse then the mouse was again survive or life the mouse was lived okay from this experiment it proved that actually the DNA is a genetic material if these two things are the genetic material definitely the mouse will die that's why they sure the DNA is the genetic material but this experiment was also you know rejected now why because as I told you the purification and the isolation method was not too much or 100% clear not 100% correct maybe there is a chances that the DNA which they transmit to the uh, or which they inject to the rough uh, which they inject to the mouse maybe there's also a small portion of the RNA may be present small portion of the protein may be present okay that's why the same situation will also happen uh, in these things okay so that says so that's why this experiment was also okay. now after that for the limit uh, you know to reduce his limitation and to reduce the objection of the scientist community uh, or to reduce the question which was arises during this experiment uh, you know a very and uh, his co-worker what actually they perform they take the digestive enzyme was DNA's that can degrade the DNA okay they take RNA's that can degrade the RNA and they also take protease that degrade the protein so second time uh, when they perform again the same experiment on the second time then they use these kinds of digestive enzyme now for the first what actually he take he take the solution of the DNA which was separated from this mixture and he put this 
uh, DNA enzyme. Okay, so if I write here again, so he take the DNA solution and put the DNA's enzyme here, as well as they also use the rough type Streptococcus pneumonia strain, and when they inject it to the mouse, then what was the result? What was the result? As all of you better know that DNAs can degrade the DNA. So after that, they find the result that the mouse was, was lived. Okay. This is the first. The second thing is that they use the protein. And they put protease enzyme. Plus... They also use the R-type streptococcus pneumonia. And then they inject this mixture to the mouse. Then what was the result? The mouse died. Okay. Now third time they use this uh, RNA solution. And enzyme they put RNAs RNAs enzyme and they also use rough type streptococcus pneumonia and inject the same mixture inside the mouse so in this case the mouse was also die now what actually he concluded from this second time in the second time experiment what was actually he concluded he concluded the enzyme which he used dna's they can degrade the dna that's why the mouse lived if the dna was not degraded definitely the mouse will be killed or will be not survive or it will be die in the second uh, you know uh, step they use protein with protease enzyme so protease enzyme break down the protein but they didn't break down the DNA as well as the RNA. Let's suppose the RNA is also present. The mouse was dry. Third time, he used the RNA. In case of protein and protease, the mouse dry. In case of RNA and RNA enzyme, the mouse was also dry. So in these two solutions, the DNA is present, but the DNA is not degraded. Why? Because in these two uh, you know, steps, the enzyme was not the DNAs due to which the DNA may be degraded. So the enzyme was protease as well as RNAs. So the DNA was not degraded and that's why the mouse was died. So from this second step, uh, from this second time of the experiment of Avery and his co-worker, they also proved that actually it was the DNA that can, uh, you know, that are actually used as a genetic material. But still, you know, the scientists didn't obey his experiment because all of you better know a scientist community need 100% proof result still the scientist says that maybe you know still the scientist says that the purification or the isolation method is not well still the scientist says that there may be also a chances that the same material will be also transferred okay or we can say that this experiment was also rejected okay so not 100% this experiment was rejected but somehow uh, some of the scientists have doubt and they also reject this experiment and a last scientist the last scientist was you know Hirsch and Chasey Hershey and Chasey in 1952 finally these two scientists you know, they completely prove or they 100% prove that DNA is a genetic material. And we call that transduction phenomena. Transduction. Inshallah, we will talk about the transduction phenomena as well as we will talk about the Hershey and Chase experiment. In this experiment, it was 100% proved that actually the DNA is what, the DNA is a genetic material. 
okay so i hope you get the idea about the uh, uh, very and his co-worker experiment uh, that how they can prove the dna as a genetic material if still you have any kind of question you can write it into a comment i hope you get idea about that uh, video uh, uh, if you understand so like this video share this video and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the uh, hershey and chess experiment okay thank you so much for watching